so we're continuing our theme of empowering our youth through the arts, and my next guest is Juan Sanchez. Thank you so, so much for being mm -hmm. here. It is really, really great to see oh, you. Thank I have you. known you for so long in so many different ways. You're a fantastic performer. Thank you. Uh, on your own, with ensembles. I have seen you in so many different ways. But you're also an educator going way, way, way back, and you're with a professional arts and schools program, and now you have your own thing going palenque. Yeah. Can you tell us why you were drawn to create something new for mm. our young people? Yeah, um, like you said, I'm, I'm, I'm a musician, I'm an educator. I, I've, I've, I've been fortunate enough to, to experience it as a, you know, from, from uh, a young age. I was a conservatory kid, you know, when I was six years old in Spain. I, I was studying classical music, I studied violin, and then eventually made, him, made my way to the United States and, and, and had my, my little touring career. And then I, <coughs> living in this area, um, I, I realized that not everybody had the same opportunities that I had. Even my, you know, my own kids who are um, Monterey Jazz Festival uh, <laughs> graduates and and right now participants, they have had opportunities that uh, that other kids didn't have. And and when I was teaching at, at CSUMB, service my service learning class, uh, building community through the arts, um, we we were, were doing community maps and uh, assets maps, and and realized that particularly in Seaside there was a big need for an art center, multicultural. Art Center, mm -hmm. and I decided to do something about it, and um, and I started, you know, that it's it was it's been a long process, but I, but we're 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 getting there. We're we're actually doing something already. So, and what when you say you're doing something, what we're really excited about is the transformation that happens for kids, mm -hmm. whether they're the quiet kids who need to find their voice or the kids who just have so much energy they just don't even know what to do with it and and they also need a, a channel for that energy and, and what they can do and um, so there's so many things when you think about um, let's say you think about years from now and you look back on Palenque what are the kinds of things you hope that are your kids are going to get out of it yeah so so we we started this process uh, uh, not just with my idea of, of creating a space we actually wanted to find out if there was a need, if uh, so, we surveyed 150 kids from Seaside wow. High, yeah, and and we asked them this this question is like, what do you think is needed, you mm -hmm. know, in terms of the arts and, and what kind of activities? Um, because I'm a big proponent of, of of really fulfilling a need, not just mm -hmm. trying to have somebody, an outsider, saying, yeah. okay, this is what you need and you must <laughs> like it, right? So so they gave us answers and we started making our designs based on their answers, and I. I, I've looked at lots of different models of what is it that, that, that we're looking for. So when, you know, in answering this question, I, I hope that we can find a place where we can educate and inspire mm -hmm. uh, these kids to find their own voice. Like you said, some of them are really, really quiet. Some of them are like, but they, they come to us and they're like, no, I want to be part of the chorus. I'm like, yeah. really? <laughs> like, and then they, they start coming out of their shell. They start finding, you know, this, this little light inside of them that they want to share. And for, for us, I think my job is, to, to make sure that they have a safe space, a, mm -hmm. a place that is inviting with uh, really high quality professionals and uh, they have an opportunity to shine at their own level. And you know, really looking more at the process right now mm -hmm. as, uh, you know, rather than, oh, we're gonna have a big showcase, a big thing. You know, it's, uh, we, we wanna focus on, of, on like inner development. Mm -hmm. um, that's really, really important to us. Well, I know you're connected with so many talented musicians in the mm -hmm. whole area. Mm -hmm. So are they coming in as volunteers? Do you have staff that you're building? How does that process work? So so uh, our, our process started with uh, kind of a grassroots group, um, 12 folks who decided that, you know, that this we were going to put in the, the extra work and volunteer completely. So we started strictly as a volunteer organization. Uh, um, we got fiscally sponsored under the Action Council. And part of those, uh, those folks were musicians, they were educators. And um, right now our, our structure is kind of hybrid. We have folks who are coming in strictly as volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have service learners from CSUMB, yes. uh, but we also have professionals uh, like Stu Reynolds, like John Nava, um, like my hip-hop uh, instructors Elton uh, Domingue and, uh, and AJ Ellis, who are coming in and, and teaching their craft and, um, and 
so so we're we're not just a one size fits all organization. It's not just all paid staff. Some folks are volunteering, and uh, I, I gotta be honest with you. I gotta give a big big shout out to everybody who said, you know, don't worry about paying me right now. You don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, they, but they took the idea to heart. Right. They 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 they, they knew that they had to do something, and um, their their easiest way. Uh, would have been just to look the other way, like no, I'm just I'm I'm, I'm busy. But no, they decided to put in the hours to uh, actually a lot of <laughs> dirty work of cleaning up sp spaces and 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 offering their 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 hours. And now well, now really we're building created, something. You really created a home for for this work, right. haven't you? So together uh, right. as a team. So let's take a look at some of the photos that you yeah. brought today, and if you could uh, tell us a little bit about what we're seeing. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. There's there's I think there's oh this is our 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 first event. This is the Palenque Arts Festival, which happened um, back in May of 2016. So a great response right off the bat. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it was a wonderful, uh, wonderful celebration of the arts. That's the Monterey Jazz Festival High School All Stars that were part of part of that. Uh, we had we had hip uh, hip hop in, um, demo there too. These are our, our two young folks from CSUMB who are just wonderful. We had mariachi. Uh, so we, we try to give different flavors and, um, and and these folks came from Texas and we even had a, a little salsa class and um, which was was really fun. These folks from Texas, uh, they I actually took them to the schools and um, I, I think there's there's a picture there somewhere where where we took them to Highland Elementary and Seaside Middle School because for us it's not just about the classes, it's also about making arts part of the the daily menu in in these kids' lives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, they, mm -hmm. Sometimes these kids don't know what they don't know. Yeah. And um, and uh, here's like probably our oldest volunteer. I I want to I want to you know point the finger like this, we have a 97 year old help you know helping clean up. He spent two hours cleaning up the space at uh, at King Elementary, and at the end of the day he turned around and he, he you know he said. We didn't do much work, did wow. we? I'm like, oh, didn't feel so, like work. so I, I mean, that's that's kind of like the picture of, of who we are. Pretty diverse, you know. I, and I love all the ages, you know, ages and stages. They're all there in mm -hmm. your group. Yeah. So you're really drawing not just the kids, but also creating a community among the people who are helping you. Right, and that's for me. That's the only way to make it. Uh, so that sometimes we have these programs where where you you try to do everything, and I realize early in the process that I better start finding networks and finding folks who who could keep this thing together as a sustainable process. Um, we're partnering out with all these organizations. Like for example, this is our uh, this is I think it's a, a, a Seaside Middle School. We had uh, a demonstration by uh, Chris Garcia, who did uh, Mexica instruments, uh, pre-Columbian uh, instruments, yeah. and I brought him from LA. and And I, <coughs> I actually said, you know, we don't have the budget for it, but I think it, you know it would be great for your students to to see it. And he showed, you know, instruments that that you would not see in the schools, and um, but it's part of their culture, part of their um, their traditions. And for me, I feel like it's my job to actually be a, kind of a curator. You know, this is from our Day of the Dead celebration we did. In partnership with King Elementary, and, and I brought in, th that's a, a student from our chorus, but also um, some students from CSUMB. And then we did face painting, we did, uh, it's, I love that picture. Uh, it's exquisite, it really <laughs> it's, is. It's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, um, we have, we're trying to do, do multi-age programs. This is, uh, these are, this is a picture from, a little selfie from our chorus. And uh, these kids are, are are coming to us in partnership with ASA and CPY, mostly CPY kids. What's ASA? ASA, ASA After School Academy from MPUSD and CPY is Community, Community Partnership for Youth. Okay. Sorry, all these acronyms. <laughs> and actually, um, we are we're trying to uh, we Monterey County Pops. Uh, we're in in, er, in right now in conversations to to have our kids perform uh, with them, and they're going to support us also with with uh, budgetary uh, uh, add to our our programs. We're, so we're we're really excited. Um, so <coughs> and how about for the, so when the kids come to you, you're giving them some training and some opportunities and whatnot. 
What about, is there a leadership component that mm -hmm. you'll be developing right. at right. some point? Yeah, we have um, our, we have an advisory council mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, my title is, I guess, is program coordinator and we have, I have a program assistant, Mariela Nuño, who's phenomenal, but we have an advisory council and part of advisory council, we have uh, three teams who are, have being instrumental. Awesome. So that's our team leadership group. Yeah. We'd like to grow it, uh, and, but uh, as right now it, it's, it's kind of slow moving, but these three folks are a force of nature. Mm -hmm. um, um, Robert uh, Purcell and um, Mahab Bonafe and Marianne, Marianne Fecha, they're just great. And um, I, I still remember at the festival, one of them, I, I asked him, you know, there's, we were at the, at the grass right there, Laguna Seca, it's like, ah, Laguna Grande Park. And they're, you know, there's goose poop. Can, <laughs> like, I'll do it. I'll, really? Oh, thank you. I, I, <laughs> sorry, I just thought you Whatever, whatever it yeah, takes. Yeah, whatever it takes. Yeah, so, so they're, they're not just super talented. Robert just played at Carnegie Hall as part of, yeah, I know. It's like he plays his cello with his uh, Miss Ruby's, uh, Teresa Ruby's uh, son. And he, and he just played, uh, he goes to Seaside High. But uh, they're not just talented. They're also, they know that they have a job in the community, that their leadership is needed. And um, they have been wonderful to work with. I, I feel so blessed to have them. Um, it's by design too. I, I actually, I, I went straight up to the principals and I said, who are your leaders? Yeah. Can, they, can you send them to me? And, yeah. they, and, and I was, uh, so I'm really grateful for them. Well, they must be happy too to be part of the whole team. Yeah. I mean, each of those pictures really tells a big story, the big hearts, mm -hmm. and this is the funnest thing ever, no matter how hard they're working. I love the story <laughs> with the 97 year olds. Like, yeah. he didn't really do anything. I know. He He's like, oh, like this, yeah. Right. He just felt like, well, this is just cleaning up. He's like, we're not going to do any more work. I'm like, we, okay, I think we're, we're good for now. So much of what I, I can see that uh, in terms of empowering our youth and whatnot is to is that as they learn a piece, as they develop their art, as they develop something, mm -hmm. uh, their character, whatever it is, they're they're developing the they're going from, I don't know, I can't, I don't know, to wow, I can, and here it's look what I did, mm -hmm. and then they're showcasing it with others, and that has a whole other magic aspect right. to it too. So, um, do you find that happening with the kids who are coming to you? They mm -hmm. come to you, they kind of open. Um, maybe a, like a blank slate in, in some sort of ways, right. and they all have some sort of background, but um, but then they're, you're going through all these things. Do you see them start to take on that idea, like even at the younger ages of that whole mm -hmm. nation of, of helping others and, and bringing everybody else forward as well right. to enjoy that same thing? Right, uh, uh, we, we do, and, and actually um, the, the young ones, one of the, one of the first, uh, first things I wanted to do is give them choice. Uh, uh, we, you know, uh, we have lots of different programs, and we're we're kind of trying to model ourselves uh, after in the chorus program uh, after PS22, which is, uh, uh, uh -huh. uh, you know, those those yeah. those amazing kids from from uh, Staten Island, yeah. and um, because we, I realized that sometimes it's us grownups telling them, you know, this is what you should sing, and so when I did auditions for them, I said, bring your song, and by the way, start thinking about which ones you like to solo in, and. You know, there were songs that I was not familiar with. In some cases, I'm kind of disconnected from my pop days. You know, many of them are <laughs> pop songs. and But, you know, just to see them go into it and, and, and get into it and actually say, no, I would like to try my uh, my solo. And, I, and I, yeah. like, yeah. so so that's a, that's a, that's a first uh, step in initiative that I, where I had to take a step back and kind of let them take the lead that these are the, this is the repertoire. But I was also, uh, of course, bringing in things that I felt were really important, like celebrating diversity like yeah. peace building all these things and then for example in the hip hop dance group there's a I I told them uh, our 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 model we what we're, we're going to try to do is first have a little break where from from the routine like some kind of like a mindfulness activity mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then work on uh, on craft whatever it is that you're doing the dance technique and so on yeah. but then there's a part that has to have like the students have to come out come up with a creative yeah. uh, element to it so it's not just the teacher doing the choreography yeah. they're actually doing being choreographers and we can add perhaps a spoken word the yeah. piece to it wow. and then 
finally kind of like a, 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 a an acknowledgement circle where, where folks acknowledge each other. So that's really that model is really wow. powerful. And we we our model for that is Destiny Arts in Oakland, which is an award um, recipient for the uh, Arts Council, uh, uh, California Arts Council, and um, they do phenomenal work. I did a, a, a site visit and I've looked at their their work is just great. Well, thank you so much. So we're going to see a video okay. of your own work and um, so let's just take a look at that. <laughs> This is like the space that we, we created. This is, uh, uh, you know, used to be a uh, locker room, a girl's locker room. <laughs> so we have transformed. We put up uh, some artwork and some panels. Yeah, it's like we really fixed them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you can see that there's uh, two things that we have here. And I think we have to see that. This is now more multi-racing with a couple of other things that we want to be part of. Have the uh, teenagers. Uh, yeah. 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 You know, for me, uh, I can see my live wires in there. I can see my super chain. Uh, the ones I was going like, to you know, I really want to do this. And some of them are doing it with other stuff. And, and so you have to meet it by the for them and it actually is trying to serve them. I, 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 I've been saying this all along from the beginning. If for whatever reason uh, this this project is not embraced, uh, uh, you know, it does not meet the needs of, uh, of kids, we have to rethink it. You know, uh, we have to, I, for me, I always go back and say, uh, you know, we, we, we reflect what has worked, what hasn't worked. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to say that there's lots of folks in the community who are excited. Uh, people like you <laughs> <laughs> and your board, uh, the Arts Council, uh, you have been instrumental, uh, your staff. Uh, every step of the way, I've, I've felt nothing but encouragement. And, and you've also told me, you know, like sometimes you have to do the cleaning. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> a little bit of everything. So thank you so much. You are the best. And well, you thank you. Bring, you're bringing the oh. best to your kids, and you're going to bring the best out of them oh. I know, for years to come. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that's our grand opening on February 17th. Okay. <laughs> I hope you can make it.